The Hart's narrow gauge railway was built in the 19th century to connect some of the small villages in the Hart's uplands to the main rail network. And it still runs today, although these days most of the passengers are tourists and train enthusiasts. But certainly one way to get to the small town of Hartzgerode. It was granted market rights as early as 993. Being so remote, it usually remained unaffected by wars. Economically, it benefited from the silver and iron ores that were mined in the area. Harzgerode originally belonged to the abbot of Nienburg, but the secular house of Escania slowly drove him out during the 13th and 14th centuries. It's during this period that the oldest parts of the castle were built, presumably as what is known as a coercion castle. Under the communist East German dictatorship, Harzgerode was not just an industrial centre with jobs for 3,000 people, but also a health resort for the party and trade unions. All of that vanished with German reunification, but surprisingly Harzgerode has bounced back. Grants and loans were used to modernise the town and create new jobs. Once more, Harzgerode can offer jobs for 3,000 people, half of them in traditional industries. Not bad for a remote town in the hills with a population of less than 8,000.